So what is negative 315 degrees in radians? Well, it's easy to figure out. We have to know a known relationship between the two, meaning there are or pi radians, in other words, 3.14 radians, is equivalent to 180 degrees. After I know this known relationship, and by the way, you might know different proportions here. You might know that there's two pi radians, right, in 360 degrees. That's fine, too, all right? It doesn't matter. I like to use this one because it's already kind of more or less simplified. So then what we're going to do after we know a relationship, we're going to take our given value of negative 315 degrees. I'm going to write out the word degree instead of putting the symbol. Then what I need to do is, what I, need to do is I need to take this uh, known uh, value that I'm converting, meaning the 315 degrees, and then I have to multiply it by a conversion fraction. Now this conversion fraction will have two things, something in the denominator and something in the numerator. The value, and, and these values here will come from your known relationship, okay? So what you gotta do is you gotta take the degree measurement and put it in the denominator. Why? Well, because we're, we wanna get rid of degrees. Basically, whatever unit you're starting with, that unit should show up in the denominator, all right, of your conversion fraction so that they cancel. And then the desired unit here of radians goes on the top, and that's it. And all we now need to do is just simplify, right? So we can simplify this. Uh, we can take, right, we have 315 here, and this is 180. So it looks like at least 5 can go into them, right? I'm not sure how low we can go here. So three do 315 over 5. So that's going to be, yeah, that's, I think, as low as we're going to go. So this would then be 315 goes to 63, okay? And then the 180 over 5 goes down to 36. And actually, nope, it might wind up going a little lower. And then I think we might be able to divide these both by 3, maybe, 63 over 3. So that works out to be 21. And this works out to be then, in terms of dividing that by 3, that's going to be uh, 12, I think, right? 36 over 3. Yeah, it's a little late now, so that's 12, okay? So I think that's about as low as we can get it. So in other words, this now works out to be negative 21 multiplied then by pi radians all over 12. There's no more simplification you can do, and this will simply work out to be negative 21 pi radians all over 12. That's the answer. Okay, that's it. Remember, you can always find a, a decimal answer here. You just take this, right, and you do 21 times pi, which is about 3.14, divided by 12. All right, so this answer in terms of a decimal, because I know a lot of you might be looking at that and saying, what the heck does that even mean? This literally means negative five point, basic, uh, roughly five, basically negative five and a half radians. That's what it means, all right? How many degrees is that? Well, it turns out to be about negative 315 degrees.